Hello? Yes, my Hello, friend. Mr. Yes, Christian Prince. Yes, you are live on air. You are a Muslim? Yes, I'm a Muslim. I'm called Senyon Josura. You are what? My name is I'm called Senyon Josura. Your name is? Suleiman. Suleiman. Okay, that's Suleiman. your Suleiman. The other part, it's hard for me to say it. Okay, Suleiman. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Suleiman? You are welcome. Okay. Uh, first of all, and foremost, I'm very happy to to receive your call. All right. Uh, yes. Um, I, I I was born a Muslim. Okay. But I've been watching I've been watching your videos, almost all of them. Okay. And um, I've learned a lot from you. That's wonderful. Uh, um, I've tried to show all the videos to, to my father, uh, but it seems he does not understand anything. Mm -hmm. But for me, my my mom is of he is a Christian, okay. and uh, I'm also going to become a Christian very soon after watching the many of your videos that's wonderful so it is yes, so, but, so so already you left islam my friend uh not yet i have so many <laughs> questions all right you can ask me the questions uh, if you like because, yeah the question i want to ask you because i want to become a christian but in my country where i live there are several versions of the bible which i don't understand Okay, like what? Uh, actually, yes, uh, there, are, there is a Bible uh, in my local language. It, co it has the name Isa Masai in it, and another Bible has the name Jesus Christo. Jesus Christo. Hmm. And I was wondering what is the true version of the Bible, which is the original name of the Savior, actually. Yes, sure. You see, when uh, when you read in translation, uh, because certain languages, yes. like in, like now, if we say to the Muslims, what is the name of your prophet? If the person he's an Arab, he say Muhammad, right? If he is not, he don't yes. he cannot say Muhammad. He say Muhammad or Muhammad, right? But we know that this is the same yes. person, but because the language is different, so they cannot pronounce certain letters. The Hebrew language have letters which you don't have in your language. So the Greek language is. Uh, uh, so Christ became a Christos. You know, this is the, the, the Greek version. But all of that is the same. doesn't matter, really. You see, it's not important, the name, or because those are not even names. Those are titles to describe who is the person. It's not really a name. Uh, so Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua is two words. Is the word Yahweh, which means the name of the, the, the word God he used to present himself to Moses. And uh, uh, mm. Shua, which is the saved, the one who saved. So Yeshua, the one who saved. Yahweh saved. So Yahweh saved is the name of Yeshua. That is the meaning. But for you, because it's a foreign language, you don't really know anything mm. except just to pronounce in the letters. But they are, those letters are not really letters, and not even just a word. It is uh, a description of the Savior. So Yeshua, yeah, the Yahweh, he saved. So mm -hmm. only a way he can save you. Yeah. So don't be worried about the uh, uh, same time when they say to you version of the Bible. Those are translation. And all of them, they are translation uh, either, from, either from the Greek or I've, from the Hebrew or from the Aramaic. Mm -hmm. As an example, now in I've front tried. of me, in the front of me, there mm -hmm. is a translation of the yes, Bible sir. in uh, in the Peshitta or, uh, you know, a lang language, which is the Aramaic, the ancient Aramaic. And this is actually the best yes. translation. So when Muslims they say there's many versions of the Bible, that's not pretty. This is just translation. The same as Muslims they say have, have Yusuf Ali, uh, Biktal, uh, uh, you know, Mahsin Khan, etc. This is I can now make a translation of the Quran, and that will be my version then. But in reality, is the Quran is the one in Arabic, and the Muslims in Arabic they have many Quran. In reality, Muslims they have many many Quran. Mm. Yes. I started I started watching your videos from 2014. Uh, you've explained a lot, and uh, I was convinced by that uh, Quran chapter 69, mm. verse 44 to 46, where uh, Allah 
uh, vote to cut Muhammad Zayota, Prophet Muhammad Zayota, if I had fabricated some verses of the Quran. Yes. And uh, I came to read the, the hadiths. They were truly uh, saying that Muhammad, on his deathbed, was crying that Allah had cut his iota. Yes. This this is a clear proof that Muhammad was a fraud to me. Well, yeah, this is a clear, but there's millions beside that. It's not only this. I mean, everything Muhammad he did is clear that he's a fraud. I mean, a person, he, claim, he claimed to be a prophet. He is coming. Muhammad, he says, I came just to complete the ethic, mm. the best of the ethics. So how you come to do that? And then you go to the house of your own son. And when the husband is not mm. there, you, you flirt with the wife. And this is according to Muslims, he flirt only. I don't believe that he flirt only. Also that, this, also that disturbs me a lot because I studied Islam from my from primary to ordinary level to higher level also. I mean, elevated advanced level. Yeah, so my friend, why, and, uh, why, I came to, why you did not leave Islam yet? I mean, until now, you, you, you agree with me in everything. So why you did not say, I am out of Islam yet? I mean, because I'm in between, but uh, I have some questions still. Uh, there are isn't so it, many religious nominations my, my friend, Suleyman, denominations listen, listen, in my listen. country. Isn't it enough? Isn't it enough yes. to prove that Muhammad is a bad person to make you leave? I mean, you cannot be a prophet of God and you are a good person. I mean, you are a bad person, right? So if Muhammad I, he flirt with the wife of his own son, if Muhammad he go after six years old children, if Muhammad he rape a woman after he killed her father and her brother before even she she her tears dry from her eyes. So isn't it just all enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud? Muhammad speaking about fairy tale stories, just Sasa and the beast and you know the Gog and Magog and fairy tale and flying carpet of Solomon. Solomon he dies standing for yes. a year. All of this is proving that this guy is a fraud. So what is stopping you? I don't, I don't understand why you don't say now. I am out of this garbage. Uh, actually, I think I'm already out, but I don't know which which true Christian denomination is true. There are so many religious denominations. Can I okay. tell you? Let us, before we my think about many are... religion, my friend, sorry, ma, before we think about many religions, let us first focus on one yes. thing. Are you out of Islam now? Did you decide to leave Islam, my friend? I'm out because I no longer Wonderful. even vote. So now we can focus. Now my we dad, can focus. Yeah. Now we can focus on my what, father, what is next. Yeah. Okay. My father really hates me. Hated me. Uh, hate because uh, he hated you. He, he hated, hated me you. and he even oh. sold off the land, which supposedly was to give me so little. He uh, will not give you his land now said, because you left his leg. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's very annoyed at me. And uh, I told my mom, my mom is, is okay with it. But the, the, um, there are so many, uh, very many religious denominations in my country. Mm. I mean, I'm in East Africa. And um, there are so many, uh, the born again in my country, they, they are portraying that they are the true believers. Then the seven days, they also say they are the true believers. <laughs> they are also Protestants. They are also Catholics. They are also Christians, and uh, they seemingly. I will tell you, who, my friend. I will, them... I will tell you. I will tell you who is a true believer. It's not about being Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. Whoever believes in the yes. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Whoever listen carefully, and you mm. can play my video later. Yes. Whoever believe in the I'm Father, listening. the Son, the Holy Spirit. Whoever believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. Whoever believe in the resurrection of Jesus, whoever ever believe that Jesus He came to this, to save this earth and the people in it, and no one can be saved except by Him. Whoever believe in the four Gospels, the Book of Mark, Luke, etc. Whoever believe that there is no salvation except by Christ and Christ alone, that is a true believer. His name is a Catholic. His name is a Protestant. His name is Orthodox. Doesn't matter. Follow. The teaching but, of Christ, my friend, mm -hmm. is not a church name. We don't care for a church name. I know that some some Christian they might say to you, Catholic or not, right, right, and don't don't listen to anyone. The one the, there's uh, only one person is right. There's only one person to follow. You don't follow Catholic, you don't follow yeah. Protestant, you don't mm -hmm. follow Orthodox, you follow Jesus. So my advice to you to get the Bible. And if you decide I have to become the Bible a believer, I've managed. I, okay, I've read so the entire New Testament. If you decide, if you decide uh, to become a believer, 
decide to be a follower mm -hmm. of Jesus, not a follower of a priest. Priest is a man like me and you. He can be good, he can be bad. And no one is good anyway. Even me and you, we are not good. Only God is good. So, in order to really be following the true God, you follow the word of Jesus, no one else. And Jesus said, I am the way. And no one can come to the Father but by me. So, this is the, this is the way to be saved. It's not a church name. It's called Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. So, don't be confused with those people, you know. Uh, uh, the, the, there is only one will will free you from all confusion. That is the Messiah. So in your heart, you say, "I today I believe in Christ. I want to be saved by Him, through Him, and yes. the Lord will, and the Lord will accept you." And then don't worry about those names. Those names mean nothing. Nothing. There is nothing in the Christianity it's called uh, Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox. Those are not really exist. Those are the. Uh, the the purpose and the beginning of them, all of them, they happen because of politics, most of them. So you, in order to be free from any man philosophy or any man sect and schools, you follow only the mm. Messiah and you believe in the Messiah. So are you, willing now, are, you, are you willing now to say with me, I want to believe in the Messiah and I want to accept him as Lord, my friend? Yes, I, I, I really want to accept the Messiah as my Savior, but can you, can you explain to me a little bit of uh, Acts chapter 4, verse 12, because I read the entire New Testament, yeah. but it's seemingly some verses are straightforward. Uh, they are concentrating on the name of the Savior, but I, uh, someone told me that Yeshua was not the true name of the Savior, because I was sitting here at my work, I manage a motel, yeah. And I was steady here. Some mm. preachers always bypass, and uh, uh, incidentally, they came to me. Mm. Uh, they preached to me that there is only one true name of the Savior. That name is Isa Masia. And I will tell you the proof they gave me after you explained to me Acts 4, verse 12, of what it, it meant. What verse? What verse? What, I verse? Have the, what verse? I have the Acts, Acts 4, Acts, okay. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Of, Okay. Okay. What, uh, what, the, read, what the? Can I what read the it? verse? Sure. Go ahead. Let me let me read it. It says, uh, "Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is not other names under heaven given among men in which we must be saved." Uh, mm. Now these preachers told me, according to Acts four verse twelve, mm. we can own uh, the, the true name of the Savior is the basis of salvation. And uh, this this man told me that uh, the names Jesus, Jesus, Jesus uh, cannot be uh, verified by the original sources of the Bible. They, they are fabrications by the Pope. Say, my friend, my friend, this uh, guy, it, this it, guy, it, this guy is a stupid. This guy is a stupid because Yeshua, yeah, 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 yes, yes, yeah, sorry. When you say uh, 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 like the Greek name, this is just a Greek name. But in the original Bible, it says Yeshua. So he is a liar. He is a fraud. You can go right now and open the Hebrew. You can open the Aramaic. And you can open the, the, the Greek. When somebody says to you such a thing, you know, we laugh at him because mm. this is stupid. Secondly, uh, mm. this guy, what his religion is? He's a Muslim? Uh, no, he's not a Muslim. Uh, uh, he calls himself a believer in Isa Masiyah, a Masian. What is a Messiah? First of all, the whole Bible never have Isa. So he's asking about who is the name of this person, and he come with the name is Isa. We cannot find the name Isa. Nowhere we can find it. But this but guy, this guy, I, obviously, this guy is obviously mixed with Islam. He's mixing himself with Islam. It's, maybe it's a cult coming from Islam. In Christianity, there's nothing no, called Isa. Uh, there's not a single Christian, my friend. Listen, there's not a single Christian mm, from the book from the original yes, books, Hebrew or mm, Aramaic or Greek, come with the name Isa ever, never. So this is a stupid. Second. Okay, try to. Secondly, my friend. Secondly, mm -hmm. secondly, let us say. Yes, sir, let, let us say his name is Isa. Let us say, for the sake of argument, still there is no mm -hmm. other savior except the Messiah, because at the end of the day, he is called the Messiah. Correct. Yeah. The the, the yeah by okay. the title. So the Messiah, Messiah, the Messiah, my friend. Because names, you see, I just told you when you called me in the beginning, there's no names for God. Yes, sir. Even when he said, but my name is Yahweh, he is not saying really a name. He is saying, I am the one who is exists by myself. It's not really a name. So, and because uh, uh, because the Jews, they always they used to 
uh, let us say, think of God uh, in a very special way. They don't even use his name when they talk about him. There's no name. They call him Adonai sometime. They call him Hashem sometime. Curious uh, uh, sometime. So, uh, uh, so because his name is, or his, he is so holy, there's no name really is used for him to, to prevent himself from using the name of the Lord in vain. So this guy is just a fool. Because it, even if the name is not what he is saying, which is not true, and he have no proof of that. Next time when somebody says that yeah. to you, when he says that to you, mm. did you ask him for the reference where he got this from? Yeah, um, I, he, he sold me the Bible with the name with the name Isamasia, and I have it even. Here my right friend, now this is my a stupid. We, here we go. We can go right now. In you know, we have in the internet. You live in the internet today. You can go and you can read. This is the original Aramaic Bible. And they are using the name as it is, as we see in front of us in the screen. The book, Genealogy of Yeshua, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham, etc. So this guy is a fraud. If he can show us what he is talking about from the Aramaic, then he have a point. If he can show it to us from the Greek uh, book, he have a point. But he cannot because he is a fraud. He is just copying what Muhammad said. He told me from the name Elisa, there is the name Isa within itself, that the name Elisa means my God is salvation because the because El is the short form of the word Elohim in in Aramaic, and Isa means salvation. And this is, he told me also that well, okay. he, he why, on the why, cross. Why you don't why you don't let this potato call me so we can laugh? Uh, he's right now in Abu Dhabi. Maybe okay. I'm going to tell him to okay. call you. That explains what he is right talking. You know, he is just promoting another version of Islam. You know, there was maybe, you know, one of the Islamic cult. Yeah. But this is absolutely uh, false. Can you, according because I I was about to accept his his beliefs, hmm. uh, he told me that any inscription on the cross is a clear proof that the name must begin with the letter I, that the name was Isa. Not Yeshua, like <laughs> what the internet the, says. What was the name? What was the name in the cross? On the cross, it is in the I N R I, which reads Isa of Nazareth. What is the name? What is the name, what is the name was? What is the name was in the cross? On the cross, it is Isa of Nazareth. Where I it stands where, for the where, name where, Isa. Where it says that that in the cross there was it says Isa of Nazareth. Ah, uh, if you go to if you go to Google. You will see that, that they are saying Isa of Nazareth, Surah of Israelites. My friend, who is not the is, one who is saying that to you? Isra. Anyone, what well, Google, when somebody he says something, we have to give from the Bible. The only story is coming to us about Jesus is the story from the Bible, right? So, where in the mm -hmm. Bible we can find the Isa and the Nazareth? Uh, in the Bible, he, he showed me that he showed me the original Bible with the name Isa Masia. My friend, there is nothing. Which was like the first this. one to come. That, is, that is a lie. There is nothing in the original Bible Isa the Masia. That's what I'm asking you. When this guy he said that to you, mm. what Google? I can make a mm. Photoshop. Do, do, do anyone have a picture of Jesus and the cross anyway? Do you have uh, a, do, do you have a do you have a picture of Jesus and the cross? And there is a sign at the top of him. It says Isa. There is only a fool. Uh, there is only a fool. I n l i. My friend, don't fool yourself. I'm I, asking you. Whoever writing those things, yes. if there is any picture taken by any man in the time of Jesus, it says Isa in the top of the cross. If there is any, there's no cameras at that Pirato, time, right? Pirato. There's no camera at that time. They say so, that. What they say that mm -hmm. there was okay. a camera at that time. He was. A, he was. He had an iPhone and he took a picture. What he say? Uh, it is all over the cross, even the cross. My friend, I have what, a, what the... a cross, what a cross, my friend. The, the, when the cross, the cross, they put Jesus on the cross, it says, This is the king of the Jews. This is the king of the Jews. They, there is the fool called in the I N R I. My friend, I, I, I want you. He is okay. in Dubai. Can you explain? Is, to... You said he is in Dubai uh, because I don't understand what you are trying yes. to say. Can you get me this potato yes. and you sit and you watch? Call him right now. Right now. I call him right now. Okay. I don't know whether he's on Skype. Um, <clears throat> hello. 
Halo. Hmm. Uh, let me check his name whether he's on Skype. Could be. It's not aware of his website. Uh, he's called in Sanja Michael, but uh, I don't see him there. Okay, Skype. invite him to call us. Invite but, him to call us so we can laugh. But my friend, my friend. First of all, in yes. the cross. First of all, in the cross. Yes. Yes. Uh, when when they when they crucify somebody, they say who is he and what is his accusation or what is a crime or etc. Uh, okay. So when this guy he mm. says to you, uh, there is a symbolic letters on the cross. None of this is about his name is Isa. He is being stupid. Uh, what is in the, in the inscription uh, on the cross in the four according to you? Because I was is, taken up by his teaching, as if I was taken well, up. This and, is uh, this is this is, sim this is symbolic for Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. But there is no letter J. There is no letter Y on the cross. Why? What uh, What do you mean why? Uh, there is no uh, my, my, my uh, friend, my friend, because there is no okay, J. Explain, listen, explain, listen, listen, listen. Explain to me. Listen. To just all. wait. You see, yes, there, is, there is certain letters. There are certain letters. They are added later to the Latin language. This is Latin. Yes. This is Latin. This is Latin. So the question is, when they say to you, to you is that something the Jews themselves they wrote? Is that in the Hebrew? Yes, it was in Hebrew. Uh, according to the Bible, because I have uh, read the entire New Testament, I've managed to read it. They are saying that that, that inscription was uh, was written in Greek, Latin, and Hebrew uh, in those three languages, and it came. The the Bible is written, my friend, my friend. The Bible is written in, in three languages, major 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 languages. But the question is, yes, the guy who is saying yes. to you that the name of the person who was killed, his name is Isa, where he got, yes. let, us say, let us say the first letter was there is I, right? Yes, sir, please. Yeah, but this is a ASOS, or like in the in the Greek language. So there is there is certain letters where not exist in the language, and then later they added, as the same as in Arabic. In Arabic, when Muhammad here have the Quran, there is no Hamza. Mm. As an example, they add the Hamza is, later, and they add Volks, and they add Chedda, and they add Kasra, and they add etc. So there's things the language always develop. So the question is, when this guy he yes, got sir. he got his understanding, where he got it from? Where in the Bible it says that the okay. person his name is Isa? Uh, he sold him his Bible. The, his Bible contained the name Isa Masia as the My name friend, for the no Savior, problem. Not his, 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 his stupid book uh, is saying. Uh, is it my friend? His okay, stupid sir. book is saying what he is saying. This is not the question. The question is okay. where in the mm. Bible, where in the Bible it says that in Mark, as an example, it says this is the, the king of the Jews. So where he got this from that this is Isa, this is what the question is. So this guy he is making his own fabrication to make it fit with the Isa. Okay, uh, let, let me uh, let me give you the proof he gave me, then you you reconcile with it. You explain to me why okay. it came to be like that. Yeah, this is uh, what we are asking. First, we, are, the first proof. we are asking for yes. the proof. We are asking for the proof, not for a speech. Because uh, I'm looking out for, uh, for a true denomination of which I have to follow, a, a true church. Mm. And um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to ask you which is the true... Uh, Christian Before support. you give me this uh, funny proof you are saying, there is this guy who believed yes. that Jesus is the Christ and he is the only Savior? Uh, he claims he believes that Isa Messiah is the Savior, not Jesus Christ by name because he says that there is no other name under heaven given hmm. among a man in which we must be saved. What is, it? What, is, uh, what, is the, what is the name of his religion? Uh, the name of his religion, uh, he says it is Isa Messiah. He believes in the gospel of Isa Masia as his savior. Is, I'm asking you, what is the name of his religion? Masian calls himself Masian from the title Masia. Oh, he's, he's called himself Masonic? Yeah, Masian. Yeah, well, obviously, this guy, okay, but this guy, obviously, he's a, he's, he's a fraud, my friend. Because in order to come to such a conclusion, he have to find such a name in the Bible, correct? Do we agree? 
Yes, that's okay. why I've told you. So, um, he so, has the Bible. So if, uh, okay, but in the Bible, it doesn't say the, Isa. The Bible. In the Greek language, it doesn't, the, doesn't the Bible, say in the, in the Bible, in the Greek language, or in the Hebrew, or in the Aramaic. Never says Isa. The Bible was bought by the Church Missionary Society in, the, in 1847. In 1847, and it has the it has the name Isa Messiah. Even I can send you There's no Isa Messiah. And what 1887, uh, my friend? We are talking about the Bible, which is go back to Christ, not somebody making a making a book translating a hundred years ago. We are talking about the Bible. The Bible. The Bible is not a translation. It is not a book I write. The original Bible. He said to you in the Greek. He said to you in the Aramaic. He said to you in the Hebrew. So now we can open right now either mm -hmm. one of them. Where in the original yes. Greek or in the Hebrew or in the Aramaic we can find what he is saying that the name is Isa. Okay, let me let me open, let me give you where it says according to him. Uh, he told me the name Barisa in Acts in Acts thirteen verse six. In what? Uh, the name was was supposed to, the name Barisa the name. The name of a, a first prophet called Barisa, but uh, they changed it to Bari Jesus. But in the local Bible we have here in my country, hmm. it is Barisa. What Barisa? Uh, can you open Acts? What? Okay. Acts, Acts thirteen. Acts, Acts thirteen what? verse six. Thirteen. Acts chapter thirteen. Okay. Uh, verse six. Okay, I have if it. If you already. open, uh, uh -huh. yes. If you open, there is that name Bari Jesus. In this Bible we have here in my country. What 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 hold there on? Is hold, the on name hold, hold on, hold on. The, the hold name on. is Barisa. Hold on, my yes. friend. What bar, what are Barisa? You say you said Act, you said Act 13, right? Act Yeah, verse 6. 16? Uh, it's uh, verse 6. Uh, verse 6, 6, 6, 6, not 60, but 6. 6? Six. Yeah, verse 16. They, they went, let me read. Okay. They went all the way across the island. Yeah, verse number six, not six. Where, is not sixty. Okay. Okay. They 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 went all the way across the island to Paphos, where they met a certain magician named the Bar Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, a Jew who claimed to be a prophet. Now he told me there is no letter J uh, in the Hebrew alphabet. Mm -hmm. A clear proof that Jesus cannot be the, the, the name of the Savior, even a small like this. Hmm. Now he told me that uh, the Bible which we have in our country, the name is Balisa, Balisa with the Bal then Isa. That is, the word Bal, Bal means my, 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 friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. You see, first of all, this yes, guy sir. is obviously is a stupid. Why? Because can we take, can hmm. we delete the first three letters off? Let us say there's no J, as you say. Can we delete the first three letters off? I'm still explaining how he told me that the name Barista means son of salvation because no Bar no, in Hebrew no, hold on. But can we Bar it, in Hebrew it, means son it, and okay, Isa means salvation? Friend. Obviously, obviously, yes, obviously. Sir. Okay. Uh, if yes, if we, uh, you know, do, do you remember just a second ago I said to you in a certain time there's letters in the Latin language they will not exist? Yes. So if we go right now and say uh, when the letter J came to exist, when it the came letter. in the 17th century. Okay. It was invented as if uh, exactly. Like that. So, so, so you know, but not but, but this there. is in the Greek language, in in Arabic or in Hebrew. We do not need the J. We do not need to make the the sound look different because we have the actual letters. So all of this is just to make it adjustment. So you in your language you can read the name. So this guy is an idiot because. The name in the Hebrew is Yeshua. There's no Asos. There's no Jesus. There's no, those all our names are to fit with your language. Why it is hard for but, you to understand? But, but names, because I studied from prime, my names don't change according to my languages. Friend, they no, are proper no, nouns. His, his name will not change, but this is just a language. This is not a name changing. Because the name is the meaning, the savior. That will not change. That, but the language of the people it, change. It, my friend, listen. He, he, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold I'm on. I'm trying. So I'm, if now I say to you, say to me, Muhammad. Go ahead. I want to hear it. Muhammad. You did not say the correct. Muhammad. Muhammad. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
I want you to say yeah. Yeshua. Muhammad with the M-U. Say, say, yeah. you say Yeshua. Yes. I can. Yeah. You cannot. Yeshua. I can. I can pronounce this. Or, I, I can pronounce it. All the would be names you can give me. Can anyways. you pronounce the letter Even A? Even if Chinese. Can you pronounce letter A? Letter A. 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 Not A. 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 Yeshua. Ha. Yeshua. 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 Yeah. So Yeshua. you see, those letters are not exist. A. A. They are not exist in A. in. in in most of languages as an example the only letter in arabic is da the only language you have the da is arabic you have da but you don't have da so if we have now a name and the language does not have the letters then they try to fix it or let us say try to make it equal so you can say the name in your own language so you can pronounce it however all of those it mm. just not correct let us say it's not really the exact name because we have the exact name in the original language. So if we want to go, we go to the original language, but, which is the Hebrew but, uh, or the Aramaic. Listen. So when yes, they say uh, Yeshua, the when they say Yeshua, that is the name. Anything else is just additional to explain to you or to make it fit with your language. Uh, but I've not seen any Bible with the name Yeshua in my country here. Because you don't have it, and because they, you know they don't speak the language in my in my country, we have Yeshua. In the Hebrew, it is Yeshua. In the Aramaic, I've seen so my friend, my friend, this, this is very silly, and this is very yes, stupid. Sir. I'm not trying to insult you, but this is very silly. Yes. Sir. In the in the same time, if we open the Aramaic mm -hmm. uh, Aramaic book, which is speaking the local language, not the Greek. The Greek are not local. So when we go and yes, we read sir. the Aramaic book, we will see it says Yeshua. So Yeshua. Yeshua, 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 Yeshua is the Arabic, Yeshua. Not, not Yeshua, Yeshua is the Arabic version, you see, in certain language, the letters seem turn into be shamed, depend in the location, so, it's for some they say Yeshua, for some they say Yeshua, but it is far away from Isa, how in the word Yah, you see the name have two words, it have to have two words, Yah is Yahweh, that's why I'm saying to you, this guy is an uh. idiot, because Isa does not have but Yahweh. Hold on, hold on. I've read. It, it have to have okay, Yah. It have to have the Yah E, which is Yahweh, and then the words save. So Yahweh save. That is what Yeshua mean or Yeshua mean. Isa mean nothing. In, in there's no, there is no meaning of Isa, and there is no such a word in even in Hebrew too. There is Isa. But the name. But Isa is uh, not. What exist. about the name of? What about the name of Prophet Elisa? There is the name is already in it. It doesn't and, matter who uh, is, is the who, Hebrew name. My, my friend, he is, his name is not Yahweh who save. His name is not Yahweh who save. Then no, his name is. My, is you hmm. see, do you see? It says Bar Bar Bar. Ba, Jesus ba name Isa. start. Jesus name is start with Ye Y Shua Yahweh. Yahweh save. This guy, his name is not contained Yahweh, and it's not even the name of Yeshua. Uh, what I'm trying to this mean... Is the, my friend, this is the Greek version. This is the Greek version mm. written to you. I'm listening, in the, in the Greek, In the mm. Greek language to explain to you to make a name. But it is not the name of Jesus and have nothing to do with it. And the name of Jesus, uh, name of Jesus, we say Jesus now in English because this is the, the popular the Latin name. But the original name, the correct name is to say is Yeshua, no other name. But where did the name Jesus, Jesus, Jesus came from? Because I just told uh, you, I just in, told you, what's wrong with you? I just told you because there is no equal letters. And actually there's tons of articles that explain to you how the name become Jesus. But who care about what they write? Why, what's wrong with people? What we care for is that is this is Jesus. And he is the same as Yeshua. And if you, if you, you, let's say you decide to call him the Savior, forget about Jesus and forget about Yeshua. You use word in English, Savior. And you meant this person. That is our Lord. Doesn't matter really because those are not names. It is not a name. Yes. It's a title. Uh, so when we say that the Messiah, uh, my friend, the Messiah is a name? No. Is it a name? But Messiah. Is the Messiah but a name? Named his son. Huh? Messiah is not a name, it is a title. Both of Messiah them are is not both, a name. both of them they are not names because if you look at them this name, which we call it name, 
you will find it's a sentence mean the savior yahweh save yahweh save us so it is not really a name there's no names in the bible you see jacob is not a name abraham is not a name musa moses or moshe is not a name all those are symbolic and they are a sentence listen carefully so when we say Moses, we are talking yes, about the one who's been saved from drowning. When we say Abraham, we speak about the one who crossed the side or crossed the river. We, when, we, when we say uh, 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 Elijah, when we say all those are not names, only they are names for the naive and the ignorant and the donkeys. Those are not names. It's a phrase. It is an announcement. There's a video you can go right now and search it in Google explain to you that even yes. the names of the sons of Adam all of them they are yes. not even one of them is a name not even one even Noah is not a name even Adam is not a name even Eve is not a name those are names for the ignorant the little ones who they just take it to think it's a name Adam mean a human it's not a name have you ever heard somebody his name is a human God in the Bible he called Adam. even uh, uh, God in the Bible even he called Eve Adam Eve is Adam. So silly ones who they are looking for, for, for discovery, they come with this. So for us, in order to find what is was Jesus called, we have to go by the first language. So either we go in the Aramaic or we go in the Hebrew. And as you see, it says Yeshua. And of all the Bible agree in that. Why there is this guy, he have different thing. Now, this man told me, my friend, uh, forget about this man. Are, are you are you a person who follow a man? Follow him, then believe in his religion. I, no, I want to read the verse for you. No, no, you see, you are just wasting my time because this this is not a verse. No, the I, verse, the verse, my friend. If you want to show me a verse, show me a verse from the Bible. Says his name is Isa. There's no need for all of this garbage. Do you have a verse in the Hebrew? It says his name is Isa. Uh, names don't change according to language, right? My right? friend, no, the name of God never changed. He is the Savior. That's what it's meant. The name is not the purpose. When God, he says, my name is Yahweh, that is in the language of Moses, it mean I am who I am. So if I say I am who I am in English, still I'm saying the same thing. Don't be stupid. This is not a name. God does not have a name. When Moses asks asks, asks his God, he says, what I will tell my, my people, what's your name? He tell them, tell them, I am who I am. So it doesn't matter which language is. You are from Africa. You can say the same sentence in African language. Still, you are speaking about the same God. So Yahweh is not a name. It is not. Yahuwah. It, it is not. Bible, don't be, listen, listen. Are Yahuwah. you are you a kid? What Yahweh mean? I'm not a. Okay. What Yahweh mean? Yahuwah. The, yes. Okay. I am who Yahuwah. I am. I am who. It's, 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 I am who I am. So in which language I say it, it doesn't matter. I say it in Arabic. It doesn't matter. If I say it in Hebrew, if I say it in Greek, if yes. I say it, so my name is not a changing. What does that mean? That my name is always the same. I am who I am. It doesn't matter what language is. There is no, why do you think God, he named himself by Hebrew? Hebrew doesn't exist. Which, yes, one is, there is which, no, one, uh, which one was exist Hebrew first? Because, hold on. Which one was exist first? God or Hebrew? No, God existed before Hebrew. Of course. Okay, so when God he was exist, he was not I am who I am in the time of Abraham. Abraham don't speak Hebrew. But, but I am is not a name, but Yahweh is a name. That's what My I, friend, I can this understand. Is, Yahweh is I, I am. You are, are you stupid? Yahweh is I am. According to the content, uh, there is a reason why God said uh, to, to Musa that he's go, he go, he should go and tell the Israelites that I am has sent him. But yeah. uh, again, we see that God gave gave my friend, uh, my gave friend, my friend, you Musa are, his you are, original you are, you are just you are just being silly, you know, because you are just insisting that if we say it in different language, it is not the same person no more. That's what you are trying to say, correct? Uh, I, uh, he read it to me this verse. That's why I want to read it to you so that he, it doesn't. Uh, he I know, I know, I know what you want to say to me. Still, it doesn't say what you are claiming. I'm asking you straightly, uh, straight a question. Are you saying that if yes, we, sir. if we use, you see, you see the name in front of you in the screen, Matthew, but in Arabic it's not yes. Matthew. In Hebrew is not Matthew. So are you saying now Matthew is not Matthew? In no my more? Bible, 
in my in this bible locally it is matayo matayo uh, i can see, read here see he have it wrong too uh, he told me that he, the Pope has uh, publicated yeah. those names. Yeah, yeah, okay. They yes, should, yes, not, yes. So you see, they should not be you changed. See here, you, see, you see, they say they should not change it. And now he is changing in his in the book because this is the name fit with the Greek language. So it says, you know, in, in, in Arabic, we have we have Aleph Maqsura. We have Aleph, etc. So in Arabic, we say Matta. Yes. Matta. We don't say Matthew. Matta. Ma Matayo. Matta. No, we don't say Matayo. There's no Matayo. There's no matayo. So listen carefully. But uh, yes, listen, sir. listen. When we say metta in listen. Arabic, when we say metta in Arabic or in Hebrew, and then you say Matthew in English, is that a different person? Uh, uh, but uh, what, what was the original about, name? I'm asking you, uh, is it the first the same person or not? If we say the book of Matthew, <laughs> or if we say in Arabic the yes. book of metta, is it the same person or different person? Uh, it is the same person. So what uh, happened? So what the problem? What's your problem then? Like Yokana, uh, like John in my Bible, it is Yokana. Now, if you, if there's no Yokana, there's no Yokana, there's no Yokana, Yohanna, because you don't have equal letters. So John is not really John. John is Yohanna. So Yohanna, yes, because you don't have equal letters, you come with the solution. So my friend, is John is the same as Johanna? Yes, yes or no? But John is not a Hebrew name. It should be it's the same. Name it's the same. The same person. It's the same person. So because this guy, my friend, say, my friend, my friend, what, what is the purpose yes, of this sir. conversation? I'm asking you. What is the purpose of this conversation? If we cannot find okay. one, what if we cannot find one Hebrew book saying the word Isa? Mm. Why the Hebrew Christians, the first people who met Jesus, they are hiding the name? Mm -mm. Do you know why the first Hebrew people who uh, met Jesus they are hiding the name? Now uh, they told me at uh, the Council of Nicaea. Uh, I'm Constantine. asking you a question. Don't okay. go there. This is 300 years after Christ. Nothing changed. And if we talk about the people, the, the book in Greece, this is a Greek book. Don't be stupid again. I'm asking you, the Christians who they are, the disciple of Jesus. Why none of yes. them he says his name is Isa? Uh, this side, many of them say his name is Isa. Where? I don't know where you stay. Yeah, this side, East Africa. My friend, don't be stupid. It's, I'm asking you. Can you Uganda. name for me? Can you name for me one verse in the Bible, yes. in Hebrew or Aramaic? It says his name is Isa. Um, okay, I'm, I'm with you. Now, uh, the problem is about... Uh, There's no problem. The different no, the no don't tell me there is a problem. There's no problem. It's your problem. You're just being silly. You are, you are being deceived by a stupid guy. Okay. Even, if, and listen, listen, if, even if this guy, even if this guy, he is telling you still that um, Jesus is Savior, he is a liar. Why? Because he's fabricating a name, and there's no need for that. If he say... If he I'm say, going to refer this man to you. Mm. You can call him right now. I told you to call him. So we can laugh. He's not on Skype. He's not on Skype, but I'm going to tell him to go. Yeah, no problem. Tomorrow, because when, no, no problem. Uh, he will call but you. We can go. We can he go. Told our, me that. We can go, my friend. My friend. The question is, he, what? Listen, yes. listen. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Why the Christian? I'm listening. Hide, why the Christian? They will change the name. Do you have any reason? Uh, yes, he told what? me they are all. They, they all want to ask Satan. He just guys me. Oh, so according to him, so, okay, so according to him, by worshiping Jesus, we are worshiping Satan. He told me the names Jesus, Jesus. Uh, they, they mean Jesus, a Greek pagan god, even on Google. My friend, this guy, this guy, this guy is they, a fraud. This they, guy is a fraud and mentally ill. Because simply, even but, if you change, listen, I listen. Don't be a potato. Even if I change the name, I'm if we change the name, when God He speak about name yes. not being changed, it's mean his He is in the stage will never change. I am who I am, which means I am always exist by myself. Nothing can change me. It's not about a name. Those are letters. So when the Hebrew but, was not exist, when the Hebrew was not exist, what was the name of God? Uh, the name of God was Yahuwah. Is what? Be before, uh, before, before the Israelites existed, God never 
uh, told Be, the Israelis before his the name Hebrew because, before the Hebrew uh, was exist before Hebrew was exist was God yes. exist? God was there, but uh, he never told anyone his name. So did he have a name at but that later, time, or he don't have a name? Listen, when he was exist before time, yes. do he have a name? Uh, we don't have the name in the in the written contents. No, you but have later, the name because you just six. said to me. You just said to me that God, He says His name never changed, correct? And this is what you insist since you yeah. called me. Uh, according to the original Bible, yeah, don't tell me according to original Bible. Either you believe or not. Did God? He says my name never changed. Yes, he said okay. his name. So his name never changed. changed. Doesn't matter what time. Before time, before the Jews, after the Jews, doesn't matter. So when God, he says, my name never changed, which means I am who I am. This is how this meant description. It is not a name. I am who I am. Have you ever heard of somebody whose name I am who I am? What kind of name that name is? Uh, what if I ask you, what is the name of your God? What can you Listen, tell? don't, don't, don't change. I'm asking you a question. What is, what kind of name? Yes. I am who I am. How that can be a name? I am who I am. That is that a name? I am is not a name. Okay. It's not a name. It's so not what a is name. the name? So what is the name? Fun. So what is the name of the in the name? The name, according to the Bible, Exodus chapter six verse two. Mm -hmm. uh, the name God, God said his name is Yahuwah. Uh, he was not you, known by his. You are his being name stupid Yahuwah again. I, we just said that this is not a name. Uh -huh. This is not a name. This is not a name. It's a that, sentence. It's a statement. What Yahweh what mean? When the Bible Listen, says, what Yahweh mean? What, Bible, hold yeah. on, you see, I mean, stupidity is really amazing. Either you are you are just insisting to be stupid, or you are trying to play games with me. I'm asking you, what Yahweh no, I'm mean? Not, I'm not what, playing what games. What Yahweh? What Yahweh mean? Yahweh. 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 In my yeah, Bible, what Yahweh? What Yahweh? Okay. What Yahweh mean? Yeah. Yakua means uh, it is just a, a prominent name for God. It means what? It is. It's a. It's a God identifying God. It's the name identifying. It's a, it's a God and the, God. It's a God. And the, this. I'm not asking you this. I say what the meaning of this name. The the name has no meaning. It is just. Just get out of here, being stupid. Anyone wanna come with anything, he has to come with the original manuscript. We have all the original manuscript agree that his name is Yeshua. All of them. When you come with this Isa thing, just this guy, he is under the influence of Muslims, obviously. And there's like a new religion, they call it a Chris Islam, etc. So it's mixed between Christianity and Islam. But in reality, that is not true. Why even the, the Jews want to change it? Why even the Jews want to do such a thing? Very weird discussion. When you see somebody, he says, I have a Bible which have different translation and then the Christian don't have it in one church. Isn't it this is telling you that this is something wrong? When he said to you that there is no J until the 1800 or etc., that will not change anything. Because when we say Jesus, we mean Yeshua. The Latin name means no different for us. It's what it's meant. If I take the word Yeshua and I say the Savior, the Messiah, I'm still saying the same in my language. In the Hebrew language, they say Yeshua. In my language, the Arabic, we say Yeshua. Is it a different person? No. When the, you know, when the, when the, the Greek, they use uh, the word curious, this is for a reason. You can study it. Why? You know, how, how that, uh, uh, or ego omi, or, you know, whatever in Hebrew or in, in, in a Greek language. It's still saying the same. I am. I am. 
This is why if we search right now how many times Jesus says, I am. But he's not mentioning names. This is not a name. I am he. People they see in front of them a Messiah. But they don't see God of Moses, they see a man. So the Messiah always he introduced himself, he said, I am he. I am. And I am can be said in any language. That's why when we translate the Bible, we don't say this exact word. As an example here in Matthew, or in any other translation. Let us go uh, to different verses. John chapter 8. If you go, you see in different translations, they say, I am. In this translation, they say, I am the living God. Why? Because they are giving you more accurate about what I am meant. So when Yeshua, he spoke again, and this is the Aramaic, they are using exactly the same words. And Yeshua spoke again with them, with, with them and said, I am the living God. Now, this guy is saying that the guy we should follow his name is Asa. But he cannot find us in one manuscript, Asa. Secondly, who care? The Savior is one, and that is the Christ. And that is the one who have disciples. And we have their names. We have the time he was born. We know when he died. That is the one we follow. We don't follow just a name. We are not a chicken. What if somebody today, he come to us, he says, I am this guy, Isa. Follow me. Worship me. Who care? We don't. And you will notice that in the Aramaic Bible or in the, uh, uh, in the Hebrew or in the Old Greek, before this J is invented, you will see nowhere is a close to Isa. Isos is because they don't have J at that time. But even this one is just to present what the word Jesus as Hebrew mean, Yeshua. So if we check with the Greek, how this Greek word came to accomplish or to exist, we will find the process. But the reality is, that in the original language, before they speak about Yeshua, there is no other person. And even the Jews, who they crucified Jesus, or Yeshua, when they wrote in their books and in their history, they did not say we crucified the Isa. So they are making fun of him. They believe he is false. He is a fraud. They did not yet and never write Isa, they said Yeshua, the one who is so-called Yeshua. Why the Jews who they are the enemy of Jesus write in the word Yeshua if he is not Yeshua? There is people they love to argue, just to argue. However, for us, it doesn't matter. Like as an example, there's people they have in their churches, they have pictures, which is not biblical. But if you go to Africa, you see Jesus there is a black. You go to Philippines, Jesus is a Filipino. You go to, uh, to Middle Eastern, Jesus looks like Middle Eastern. But isn't it the same Jesus? Can Jesus be black and Asian and white and Middle Eastern all in the same time? We don't get upset because Jesus is for all. Jesus is a black for the black, no problem. He is God. He came for all of us. He is an Asian for the Asian. He is a, he is a Middle Eastern for the Middle Eastern. He is a white for the white. Who cares? But all of us, we are worshiping one person. Anyone who did not understand what we are saying? And always when somebody comes to you with such, an, such a stupid thing, tell him, okay, go and let us see in the Hebrew where it says, uh, it says what you are saying. We go to the Hebrew right away. We do not need anyone. 
Does it say what he is saying in Hebrew? If it is, then it is. We will not. Why would we deny it anyway? You know, you know what I mean, people. Why we Christians will we deny that his name is etc.? If it is there, there's no point. What that would change anyway? And when he said to you, by changing the name, we are worshiping Shaitan. The stupid, the son of Muta, who said that to you. But we have in the, the other Bible, his name is still Yeshua. <laughs> So those who worship Yeshua, are they worshiping Shaitan too? <laughs> and those who worship Yeshua in Arabic, are they worshiping Shaitan? Shaitan is a person who teaches sh Satanic. Well, this is the same. So this donkey, who the one who is telling you, he is saying he believes in the same book. He believes in the same type uh, 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 teaching, but he don't agree with the name. So how changing the name will make him Satan? Satan, he teaches satanic teaching. He teaches fornication. He teaches killing. He teaches hatred. You idiot. It's not the name. Even the Lord, how we know that this is the, the, the Messiah is the Messiah we are waiting for? Is that because of a name? I can call myself the Messiah. You can call yourself Yeshua. We did not believe because of a name. When Moses believed his God, not because his name is Yahweh or I am who I am. This is not the reason to believe. Satan, he can appear in front of Moses and call him, I am your God, my name is, etc. But then we see that this person who appeared to Moses, he did miracles to save the chosen people. So how he can be Satan? This is why the Messiah, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. From their fruits, not from their names. The Messiah himself, he said, there's many Messiahs will come after me. False Messiahs. Here we go, they will call themselves Messiah. So what is missing? So if the problem is the name, well, we should follow the name then. <laughs> 